Um, five o'clock, February seventeenth. Welcome to the uh, Patchett Board of Trustees meeting for second meeting for February. We we'll call the meeting to order. Three trustees: fiscal officer, road administrator. Um, Fire chief is on vacation till tomorrow, and we won't be seeing our zoning inspector this evening. So we'll <coughs> move along. I entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of January twenty second. I so I'll move. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. I've now entertain. A motion to approve the minutes of February 3rd, uh, 2020. I so move. There's a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Any further discussion regarding the adoption of those minutes? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. And I entertain a motion to approve payment of the bills in the amount of $58,991. 18 cents, broken down general fund, $10,335.59. Fire fund, $32,169.47. Cemetery fund, zero. EMS billing, $8,312.48. Road and bridge, $8,173.64. And capital projects, zero. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. I second. The motion and pay the bill. The motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding the of these accounts? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Correspondence for the period. Uh, we have a request from a, um, uh, it's a forwarded request from the Ohio Township Association for a township in uh, Erie County that was looking for some information and uh, if anyone wants to follow up on that, feel free. Uh, we have the uh, min look at meeting minutes from the Green County Township Association of uh, uh, February 11th. Uh, we have the notice of the annual spring dinner of the MBRPC that will be happening on um, Thursday, April 16th this year. We have a, um, a message, a copy of a message from Colin uh, to the clerk of uh, Yellow Springs Council uh, to be delivered tomorrow to council members, to council members, and I'm going to read what he writes. Uh, he writes, council members, I read the council packet for your meeting on Tuesday, that's tomorrow, specifically interested in learning the outcome of the recent planning commission meeting, as two of the items have the fire department input. I was, however, surprised to see the statement below from Council Member Curlis in reference to the Home Inc. project. She's quoted, the information uh, that a dedicated fire lane would be required was, apparently, a very recent development uh, cause, I guess, causing the loss of parking spaces in the design of the pocket neighborhood due to the fire chief not seeing the final design until the end of the process. Staff can require uh, early involvement of the fire chief in its future design. <coughs> Colin goes on. As I have not yet watched the video of the meeting, I do not know who at the meeting implied that the requirement for a fire lane, a fire lane was a late development. Nothing could be further from reality. I met with a, re with a representative of Home Inc. regarding the pocket neighborhood development in early March of 2019. During this meeting, I offered to waive the requirement for a 20-foot wide fire lane around the development in return for a fire lane on Woodrow. This was in response to an earlier comments from me to the director, Siebel, stating that the need for fire apparatus access in accordance with the Ohio Fire Code. Homink was happy um, to accept this offer. Homink has therefore been aware of this requirement for almost a year. Uh, our plan review process is typically completed within two to three, two to four working days after receipt of the plans. The goal of the process is to assure that the fire safety requirements are being met. In this case, the lack of quick access to the development of lightweight wood frame homes was a concern. Additionally, it was important to state that the village staff worked very closely and positively, the village staff works 
would, should be, works very closely and proactively with fire department staff on these issues, and I am proud of the strong relationship we have. Feel free to contact me if you have any further information. So that was sent today. Uh, we then have a notice uh, from Sugar Creek Township uh, of the uh, dedication of the Michael E. Pittman Community Trail. Uh, that will happen March 1st at 1 p.m. Uh, we have a public notification from St. Mary Development Corporation uh, concerning the, or refer to the Yellow Springs Apartments, I guess, and uh, that they will be the uh, development team, uh, the general partner, the development will be St. Mary's Corporation contractor will be Roselli, and the property manager will be Gold Key Management, and this is the uh, area behind the fire station. He goes out to see how it's funded. Um, we have a um, well, we have a, a, a note of thanks to uh, Fire Chief Altman from the Bowser Warner representative who did the uh, site one, uh, phase one site plan for the for the property here and uh, helping her out. Um, we have a, a message from Lisa Abel, I guess, or Don. Um, says, uh, I'm taking a quick poll. Let me know if you could make the March 3rd meeting by 11. I, I have seen that, yes. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. We have to get a tissue. Okay. Um, a notification of the next RPCC Executive Committee, which will be tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we have a, a newsletter from Green County Council on Aging. And we have the aforementioned 375 page uh, <laughs> phase one environmental. I'd like to take that with you and read it. That's a good read there, Mark. Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll help the old snooze, snooze button go off. <laughs> well, I'm going to slow read anyway. Well, if, if we, can, we can probably boil that down to one line that says <laughs> there were no problems with the, yeah, with it's the all property. Good. <laughs> so, that $2,300 will get you a report. Uh, we also have fund status and revenue, or no, fund status report. Oh, we're not. Or to February 17th. Oh, it is? You did? Well, good for me. Didn't I? I staple it to your agenda? The fund status. What did I do? Oh, no, you know what I didn't. No, I'm sorry. Right. I gave you a resolution. Mm -hmm. More importantly. Okay. Yeah. We have money. We have money. That's the fund status. Any, any other correspondence this evening? And then we'll move the fire department report, which I believe is in abeyance since there's nobody in the chair. <coughs> so we'll just go on. Now, new firehouse report. Uh, we had our weekly meeting on Thursday. Um, minor things, you know, that all, always come up. Some measurements weren't exactly right. Uh, some door lentils were ordered incorrectly. Some, uh, let's see. Not too many other things, but just some small things that they're working their way through. The weather has been the biggest concern because they really have been stuck in a place last week. They were stuck in a place where they had to get uh, some block put in on the what's called the eighth, eighth section wall, which is the last big wall that goes up uh, through the roof next to the apparatus bay and makes the other half of the mezzanine, which encloses them obviously the mezzanine, which has an awful lot of mechanical equipment on it, but then the lower part, uh, which has the bunk room, the fitness room, the department area, and a bunch of other little stuff, the electrical room, the, the water room, and that all needs to have a, uh, it needs to have a, a pad poured, I think, tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, so then they can finish, because they can't pour the pad, and, and build the, the block wall at the same time because they can't, there's not enough room to get the equipment in there to, to put the cement in while that wall, if that wall was completely finished. So they're waiting for the pad to be put in before the wall can be finished, before then they can go to the next part, and the next part, and you know, and then start putting, they need to put roof, roof trusses, I don't know, bar, bar trusses, bar, something across the flat roof where the mezzanine is so then they can start building that roof on top of there so they can you know 
and start hooking up a lot of the equipment that goes on there. So a lot of these little keys are dependent upon hopefully getting this uh, pad put in tomorrow. But the weather should be perfect for it. Um, the ground's going to be ground's going to be thawed, and the surface temperature is going to be in the upper 40s, which is which is a real good uh, real good uh, temperature for for pouring. So hopefully they'll get that done before the end of the day tomorrow, and that will help them keep on schedule. Um, we made an executive decision to change from. Uh, polished concrete uh, when you walk in the front door and, and, and work your way back to the back end of the to the, to the office part um, and we're going to take the polished we're going to not do the polished concrete and we're going to put porcelain tile on the floor in its place and that tile will be on the, uh, the lobby hallway and the uh, the two bathrooms off of the, the hallway, the training room off of the hallway, which is also called it not not a training room, sorry, a treatment room off of the hallway, uh, where the public can walk in if they've got a problem, and be, have a private area to discuss things. Um, I think those are the only areas that are getting the time. So the <clears throat> my memory is part of our. Cutting costs was to go to the polished mm -hmm. concrete, mm -hmm. and so apparently looks like there'll be enough money to add the tile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, should be no problem. So that's a change order on the way. Uh, we're also having some kind of transportation issues with with the pay applications. They didn't seem to make it in a normal timely fashion from um, <coughs> from uh, WDC in Springfield down to USDA last week and hopefully they're there because normally they would have already been approved and the money in our account by this time uh, uh, or at the very latest maybe tomorrow so hopefully they'll have that done so we can uh, write some checks to these people Looks like it was today a federal holiday. It was. Well, as usually, a, usually it's there at Superman. As of Friday, it hadn't even gotten to the USDA in, in, mm -hmm. in Hillsboro, so yeah, that was, it wasn't approved by them, and it wasn't sent on to Columbus, and it wasn't sent on to that was a week, Washington. Yeah. A week had gone by, and we still So that's that. So does that mean we have to do something about it? They've got it now, right? I don't know. I don't know. I know they have the little bit that I submitted because I emailed it to them. Yeah, but it's the pay ask them. No, no, it's a, that. But what, what I what I submitted for reimbursements is nothing compared to what mm -hmm. we people are making. Anyway, so we'll find out tomorrow, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, all right, anything else for the new firehouse? The uh, only way to say it's exciting to see a roof over the uh, mm -hmm. office area. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. It would have been nicer to have that big light monitor on top, but oh, well, mm -hmm. we can't have everything, I guess. That's the open feature on the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no, that was a, about $160,000 mm -hmm. per week. Next. No, my goal is cheaper. Okay. Let's see. Daniel? Well, let's see. What's going on out there? Not much activity at the cemetery, but nope. a little bit tomorrow. A burial tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ashes? Or? No, full burial. Which cemetery? Land Forest. Oh, that's right. So, one of the new addition. Mm -hmm. Last thing, three is not, not huge. It's going on huge. One of their I have a kind of a side question about the natural burial area. Usually there's um, areas that are mowed, 
there's a requirement for a bulb so that there isn't depression and bumps. Uh, and since we don't have, we don't mow the natural area, there's no bulb required. But I'm just curious how much have you noticed of settling where there's been a natural burial? Yeah. I really haven't noticed. I'm back there to look. Still looks flat. They, well, they pretty much settle down. You get a little drops on the edge, and you know, that'll pull some dirt into that. But it overgrows so fast back yeah. up in the prairie grass. As you far don't as see that. You don't see the, the grave over you know, As it settles, you know, we pile it, and then when the edges drop, you drag some of the left up. And it ends up settling back down pretty good, I think. Most of them. You can still kind of see them, though. Once they burn it off, you can do that. I'm only asking it out of just interest of how much settling really happens. Well, it settles back pretty much level with it. You know, like I said, the corner edges of the gray will drop. We just kind of pull some dirt in there. Thank you. You're welcome. As soon as I get old Frankie, I'll have your input. I'm not hearing me. everything you're saying. I got to get a hold of Jackson Whiting. She's on the cruise. Yeah. Right. So, as soon as she gets back, we'll take care of that. What? Info for the scattering area. Yeah. Okay, any progress on locating a mower that you like? Not yet. No. I'm on. I did delay this last week. Couple of days. But I'll take care of it. Go ahead. Okay. Anything else for the cemetery? Having with roads, road man. No, salt, no snow. No lack of sleep. Yeah, no lack of sleep. Yeah, sleep. I got a thought. Mm. Um, we're gonna help Zinu Wednesday for the catch basin at their firehouse on Brush Road. Which one? On Brush Road at their oh. firehouse. Mm -hmm. They've got it once broke down. And they'll replace it. They asked, "Can we help?" I said, "Sure." Mm -hmm. In return, they'll help me. With Tobias, mm -hmm. catch me and, you know, move That's what we're doing Wednesday. Mm -hmm. and then we'll take our, our equipment or use the air. Probably take the estimator. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe. You take it, Brandon. Yeah. Okay. He can drive all stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a catch basin. Mm hmm. At the firehouse, broke. They want to replace it. We'll get a pipe. So we have to is there help us? Mm -hmm. Did you get a chance to swap out that guardrail on Bryan Park? I did. Mm -hmm. Four pieces. Yeah. They go back together, all right? Mm -hmm. okay. One that posts it down a little bit. There's that, that tree there. If I move the tree, <coughs> then it's going to cave out. Mm -hmm. The roots are going to take some of it. So I'll just leave it right for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we replaced it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you been out on tour? No. There's a couple more that are bent. They just look bad. They're they okay. can't drive, remember? Oh, <laughs> oh you can't drive? Uh-uh. That's how I get to the I don't know. That's about it. Okay. Anything else for uh James? Mark? Guess what? I have, um, you have a copy of the uh, of a amendment of temporary appropriations. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that maybe by hopefully by the next meeting, call me back and we can get um, anybody's changes other than what we've done so far implemented mm -hmm. and ready to go for the next meeting. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, <laughs> we have a resolution 2020-09. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following temporary appropriations. In the general fund, I increased uh, the Bureau of Workers' Comp line item by $177. Uh, property insurance is 
increased by 3,158. And under the other line item, I increased that by $1,300. In the fire fund, I increased BWC, the Bureau of Workers' Comp, by 1,235. Property insurance by 12,000. Um, other in the fire fund by 1,200. And buildings increased by 1,200. And lastly, an EMS building increased salaries by 10,000. That's it. You didn't need to put anything in the road for the property insurance? No, nope. <laughs> I had enough in there, but yep. everything else was on. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there a, a motion to approve resolution 2029 amendment of tempor temporary appropriations? I make that motion. I will second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion <coughs> on that resolution? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Mucher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Um, yeah, so, yeah, hopefully, like I said, we'll adopt our permit appropriations for 2020, the next meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have. Do you have any questions? <laughs> any questions for the fiscal officer? Mark? Yes, you do. You're, you're getting I, I can feel it. I can feel it coming. <laughs> how's, how's Dan's new phone and, and coming along? That's really, really coming along very well. Is it? Quite smoothly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Verizon. Do you know what model he's going to get? So we I, look forward to it? I, it? It's bigger and better. <laughs> and it'll have a little, it'll have a little side um, holster thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. attached to his belt. Is this a commercial grade? I mean, is this a rough duty phone, or is there anything special about this that we can assure our taxpayers so. that we're yes, getting I, the yes, best? Yes, I think I think it is. Um, you know, built for the rugged work that our road department does, and it's, I think it's even waterproof. Is, is yes, yeah. replacing yeah, the phone that was last bought in twenty thirteen. Correct. <laughs> He's getting an upgrade. It'll take pictures even. And he can then he can send them to Great. people that he wants. <coughs> he can take pictures of potholes. Or stuff, I don't know, whatever they, what kind of well, pictures they share, those guys, but. Well, I want to send it to people. If I take a picture, call for a job, you know, send it here, so you've got no problem. Yeah, this house is good. I don't know why we can't do it. Yeah, we shouldn't. That's good. I mean, it's. Yeah. So, um, I don't yeah, need to that all day or anything. I don't need that. I just want to be able to send a picture here. Yeah. So that we're working. Hopefully it'll come. Well, yeah, I have one more. I have a form to fill out and get to them tomorrow. And then, hopefully then, they'll move it forward. And in the mail in no time. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, yeah, and I have a phone number I can call. <laughs> Will they transfer money from off of this phone to the new one? Or do you have to take some more for that? Or you don't know? They used to, the lady out. used to come to the lady used to do it, yeah. I don't know if she still does not. Well, they do have, they do have the name of a person who is a, a human that um, is our account manager or whatever. So I, I will continue to work on that project. I have been following up regularly, so. Very regularly. Mm. Thanks for asking. Okay, no zoning this evening. Um, this is the second meeting of the month. We will talk about standing committees. Uh, I did remove a couple of the committees that you wanted me to. Thank you. And the RPC met the first of the, first of the month. Regional planning, uh, sorry. Regional <laughs> planning meets tomorrow. Um, it did not meet um, prior month, but tomorrow's meeting is happening in, in the afternoon. Um, any senior citizen meetings that you've um, been to? Yeah, actually, um, I, I did attend one exercise class there. The uh, Ladies teaching Tai Chi, and uh, 
It was very good. She's uh, more than qualified. And she started, I think she said when she was eight. And uh, I don't know what activity she was involved in, but she did go to the Olympics. Apparently. She's really As a spectator or a participant? A participant. Hmm. She don't remember what? Or what she didn't say what? Did no, I didn't ask her. I had assumed that I was going to uh, be riding with her and uh, I was, as it turned out, I wasn't. <coughs> Interesting. Anything going on with the Clifton Cemetery Board? We have not met mm -hmm. in the last month. Mm -hmm. Probably when you get a maintenance bill, you'll get together and mm. <laughs> go over that soon. Uh, Wise Community Development Corporation uh, will do two things of uh, housekeeping tonight. I'm going to entertain a motion to appoint uh, Don Hollister as the uh, now permanent, semi-permanent, uh, temporarily permanent, YSDC <laughs> representative uh, from Miami Township. Is there a uh, second to that? Mm -hmm. second to that. Did you commit it, Chris? I did. Okay. And um, Mark seconded. Any okay. further discussion okay. regarding that appointment? Mm -hmm. Hang on, name and vote, please. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Pocket? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. <laughs> now, Don, is there an appointment that you'd like <coughs> to make? I, I would like us to appoint Consider. Corey Van Osdell as our second uh, representative on the Development Corporation Board, and her name is C-O-R-R-I-E. Got it. And there's a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Very good. Now there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion <coughs> regarding that appointment? <coughs> Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. So. Is she representing Miami Township? Okay. Yep, in the uh, Code of Regulations, which I would call bylaws, uh, the village has two representatives, the township has two representatives, the school board has two. Okay, so we, we, were, we, were, we were missing a second. Right. Then. Mm -hmm. And if we have two trustees, we would run into trouble of having the majority of the board of trustees on this other board. Right, right. So we consider the quorum. So we are the only political subdivision that has a at large or community member representative. Because everybody else is having a, another one of their elected officials as the uh, second representative. Uh, Anything with the uh, Complete Census Committee? Uh, yes. Uh, the U.S. Census is still hiring. And in most categories, I think the counting day is April 1st. Mm -hmm. Could be wrong on that. Uh, but then it will go on for almost another year of follow up. Wow. Uh, and in some of this I may be repeating, but in Greene County, the, the wrinkles, the particular concerns are counting students, college students. Mm -hmm. And so there are, there's a special committee on that. And then there are families that have been displaced by the Memorial Day tornadoes that <clears throat> are still going to school in Beaver Creek, mm -hmm. uh, but they're scattered. And they're being counted at their original uh, location. And that's an elaborate process. Um, well, I could go further, but that, 
that's enough. Mm -hmm. did, did you tell me you went to a solid waste policy committee meeting last yes. month? Yes, there have been a series of them. Usually they're only meeting quarterly, but this last fall they were meeting monthly. Mm -hmm. uh, and then culminating, the reason for the frequency is culminating in the middle of January. Uh, we had to finish the, uh, the first stage of a multi-year program plan uh, for approval by the state EPA. Mm -hmm. uh, the county gets money based on the you know, number of tons of trash uh, mm -hmm. collected through the county. Uh, but the state has to approve you know, what you're doing with it and what your plans are doing with it. And if they don't approve it, then they come in and run it. Uh, so it's... The EPA does? So, and the, the main change compared to the past is uh, more emphasis on recycling and education through the, working through the schools to get kids excited and you know, get their, them to tell their parents what to be doing, which apparently is more effective. Uh, mm -hmm. And Green County is low on the recycling rate compared to the rest of the state. Hmm. Really? That just, that just doesn't seem logical, but I've heard it is, so. No. Stats. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'm semi-working on the project of finding a replacement for the administrator for the Grinnell Mill. Uh, so it wasn't necessarily a, a building maintenance position? That's what I put in the minutes. Yeah, it's, it's a, kind of, it could be a little bit of anything position. Uh, it's accounting, it's <laughs> uh, oversight, it's maintenance, it's HR, it's, uh, mm. it's a little bit of everything. So, maybe. And it's not necessarily a paid position, is it? Not at this point, but I don't see how we could realistically ask somebody to do this for absolutely nothing, you know, maybe for expenses or. <laughs> Complimentary. There's a lot to do. Cards. There's a lot to do. So. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm working on it. Okay. Any, let's see, any new business this evening? Mark, you working on any new business in there? No. Mm -hmm. Donald? Nope. Let's see, how about old business? Well, we got lots of old business, but it's going to have to stay old for a little while, apparently. Mm -hmm to be finalized business. Um, there's nothing else I can't see the clock, but I'll move through during whatever time it is. It's 5.35. There we go. I'll second that. I will, I agree with that. So be it. It is ordered. We have a couple of little gavels, like Justice Roberts had to put on. He also said some Latin word. <laughs>